Danny Sport here, and today's episode of Payday Your Way Friday is titled, How to Use Your Skills to Make Any Day Your Payday. Happy Payday Your Way Friday. So today I am super excited because this is one of the topics for me that I like to share with people. But before I share it, I want you to think about yourself. Think about some of the things that you may have been dealing with, people telling you that you're not good at something or you'll never be good for anything or anything like that. If you have any of those thoughts, I want to encourage you to let those go because those are thoughts that will keep you from being able to earn the kind of income that you deserve to earn. And it will also make you feel as if your skills or your talents are inferior and they're not, okay? So if you followed along with me this past Monday, I talked about how your skills can make room for you pretty much for your gifts and your talents. So if you hadn't had a chance, you can go ahead and get that motivation. I have the link below in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you're not watching this on YouTube, you could actually go to the blog post before this one and you will find it there as well. All right. So today is all about how you, my friend, can use your skills to make any day your payday. So here's the deal. You have skills, whether you want to believe it or not. Some people may have told you you don't, but you do. And on top of that, you have talents. And if you remember from Monday, or if you weren't here, I'll say it anyway. I was talking to you about how your gifts or your talents are something that you have and you can't help it. You just have it. And skills are something that you actually have to learn. Um, So either by choice or by force or by vocation. Okay. And anyone could actually learn a skill. Anyone can master it. It just depends on if you are in it to win it or not. So sometimes though, some of the skills we learn are not beneficial to our gift or beneficial to who we are. So it's not necessary to learn those skills. So I'm saying that because I've met a lot of people who have burnt out on learning new skills because they keep trying to find ways to make more money. And it's not always about making more money or learning new skills. It's all about finding the skills that help enhance the goodness that's already inside of you, like your gifts, your talents. And those are the skills that you need to help you, you, (laughs) to help you figure out what you can do to actually make money. So I'm going to use myself as an example. So I have skills. So before I was, let's see, in high school, I don't know why, but I was so interested in technology. But people my age and my age group, they know that technology back in the day was not the best. I remember having to sign an AOL, you know, all that stuff (laughs) and having to wait on it to, you know, log me in and get on there. But I was just so captivated. And then the computer screens were like so big, gigantic, like literally. But I literally had this passion for technology and trying to figure out how these things work. And it actually worked out for me. I was able to learn skills and technology that... I can use now without even having a degree or any formal education in it. And that's okay. Like I can still use those skills. So I use those skills to personally um, create two of my very own websites. Well, or was it three? Definitely two of my very own websites working on the third one now. I'll tell you about that later. Um, I also use it to create the thumbnails myself for my YouTube channel and for my daughter's YouTube channel and a whole slew of other things. So as an example, because I'm able to create these YouTube thumbnails like quick within an instant, that's a skill that I can use to make money. So I can go to a website such as Upworks or Fiverr or anything similar and I can say, hey, Are you looking for someone to create a YouTube thumbnail? Because that is something I am good at. And then I have examples because I've created them already. And then I can, of course, tier the prices and the offerings. And then once I do that, I can pretty much go ahead and post that and then allow people to find me and hire me to do that because that's a skill that I'm good at. And I know I'm good at. So... The next skill that I know that I'm good at that I actually do not believe I was good at is actually 
connecting with people. So something that a lot of people have not really figured out about me is that I'm actually an introvert. I'm not an extrovert at all, but I am a people person. I genuinely love people. I genuinely connect to people. And it doesn't matter what your age is. You can be from a baby to a senior citizen. Like it doesn't matter. I don't even want to call them senior citizens, superior citizens. <laughs> like I just connect with people. Like that is my, one of my gifts. I love it. And I actually really love to help people. So another skill that I could use, like one of the things that I used to do that helped a lot of people try to figure out things. So this is when I had mine, who is now 19 year old. She was a little girl. I wasn't married, didn't have my other three young ones, my eight, five and three year old, but I would host baby showers for people. And I was the one in my neighborhood or in the metro area of my neighborhood um, or city that people will call. And they will call me because they knew that I was gonna put on the best baby shower ever. And I would do, the smallest things to the to all of it <laughs> like i would do the whole baby shower or just the small things but what i was truly known for were the games like that was my thing i was the best host i would create the i would create the um the what do you call them the booklets the baby shower booklets like i would just pass out the papers like they used to i would have a whole booklet ready to go and i would you know watch to make sure no one's getting ahead <laughs> or anything like that and i would mix it up with action and printable games really fun so one thing that i could do with that like i actually went back maybe sometime last year i went back and found all of that stuff that i made and i was like oh my gosh why haven't i not tried to sell these things like i don't have the time now to actually go and host baby showers like i used to but I could at least help someone else host baby showers by giving them some of the resources and the tips that I, that I use and needed could have had helped to, you know, help me push through a lot of those baby showers a little more quicker and easier. But I could do that. I could actually put that on a website such as Etsy or any other place or Shopify and sell those things digitally. And that's one of the skills that is a passive skill. So that's something that I could do. I could create those games, I could upload them to Etsy. And then on top of that, I can just let the money come in. So that's kind of a passive way to allow your skills to make money for you. So if you can create any kind of digital product, that's one of the best skills to have because it's just going to keep coming in for you. You just have to go in every now and then check on things or update things, etc. So let's say that you actually create like physical things like physical crafts or something like that. You bake cakes, you make earrings, jewelry. So let's say that you actually create jewelry. So I'm going to show you how you can actually make money monetize on that skill without having to actually sell your jewelry. So this will take you this will cause you to have to use uh, digital um, skills, okay? But you can do this. So I would personally, if I were you, find a camera or even your phone and kind of have it like over hovering what you're creating and just let it record while you're creating it. And if you need to stop, pause it and then go back <clears throat> and keep going. And eventually what you can do with that, you can create several amounts of content that you could actually use to upload to places like right here on YouTube or TikTok or Instagram, Facebook, you name it, you can upload that. And a lot of these places that I'm naming, they have a way for you to monetize based off the content that you put on there. The only thing is with your skills, you have to know how to actually use those digitally but that'd be something that i'll talk to you about later because i can show you how to monetize on social media with your gifts and your skills that is the simple thing but it's now your job to figure out what your gifts or talents are what skills you have and how you use them and how you can use them to help others because it's not so much about how your skill is helping yourself it's more so about how your skill can help someone else because if your skill can help someone else then your skill is also helping you right so you exchange your service for 
value, money, etc. So you, my friend, can do this. Um, just think about it. So my challenge to you today is to literally sit down, even if you have to write it down or put in the notes of your phone or whatever, um, put this down, write down the things that you are good at. Um, write down the things that you're talented at, the gifts you have, the skills you have, and how they work for you or things that you do for yourself because I'm sure that there's someone else out there that can use those, those gifts, skills, or talents that you have. And then the next thing I want you to do <clears throat> is stay tuned because I am going to show you some of the best practices for actually making money um, using your content or the, your gifts, talent, skills on social media, or I can even show you how to use these things on um, Etsy or Fiverr. And I think I've had other videos for that. I'll try to find that. If I can find those, I'll make sure that I put those in the comments section for you, okay? In the meantime, please stay tuned for next week. Next week, I'm going to show you how to <clears throat> get comfortable living outside of your comfort zone because that my friend is where your wealth is a lot of people try to stay within their comfort zone to receive that wealth but it'll never come that way but in the meantime i am so happy that you stayed with me this long that means that you are serious about making your success a priority in your life and if you haven't already make sure you click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon so that you'll be notified the next time that I post. And don't forget, I post every Monday and every Friday. <clears throat> so you will have, excuse me, Motivational Mondays and you will have Pay to Your Way Friday and they're normally related so that it will help you kind of on your way because here's the deal. I believe that if your mindset, your heart, the way of thinking isn't right, your paycheck, no matter how small or big it is, would never be right. So make sure that you follow along with those Motivational Mondays and Pay to Your Way Friday, and I will take care of you. In the meantime, <clears throat> and in between time, you keep doing what you need to do to make sure that you are allowing your skills to work for you and allow your skills to help you make any day your payday. Thanks so much for watching. And as I always say, stay peaceful, positive, and productive. I'll see you next time.